in this short video I'm going to try and describe the facts behind the Constant Grundig case. Now, Grundig was a German manufacturer of TVs and radios and other electronic equipment back in the 1950s and early 60s. Um, Grundig intended to set a, a single distributor, an exclusive distributor in France for its products. So it entered into an agreement with the French distributor Constant, and at the same time, it um, assigned the trademark Grundig International, which Grundig held both in Germany and in France. Uh, Grundig assigned this trademark to Constant. So Constant was made the exclusive distributor of Grundig products in France. Now, this meant that Grundig would not directly sell Grundig products in France, and it also undertook not to allow any of its wholesalers, in this case wholesalers in Germany, to sell directly to France. So the official circuit would be for Grundig products to be sold to Constant, and then Constant would sell these to retailers, and then in turn, they in turn would sell this to final consumers. Now, the facts arose because um, some independent distributors like UNEF, that were not who were not part of Grundig's distribution network, started to buy Grundig products from wholesalers in Germany and to resell them directly to retailers in France. So this is the phenomenon that is known as a parallel import. It is a parallel import in the sense that the importer is not part of the official distribution network of the manufacturer. UNEF, for instance, in this case, has no contractual relation with Grundig, so it is not an official distributor of Grundig products um, in France. Now, because at the time, uh, having a trademark, uh, even if it is the same trademark that exists in Germany, allowed the trademark owner in France to use that trademark to prevent anyone from uh, distributing, from selling products that included this trademark, Constant, as the owner of the Gint trademark, that is Grundig International, used that trademark to block imports of Grundig products from these wholesalers through UNEF. So the result was that Grundig was, uh, sorry, Constant was able to prevent all parallel imports and thus retain its uh, contractual exclusivity. But in this case, through a trademark, it was able to oppose that trademark, not only to those who had a contractual relationship with Grundig, like Wholesaler 1 and Wholesaler 2 in Germany, but also against any third party, which in this case included UNEF. Now, the European Commission then um, issued a decision uh, which established that uh, the, the agreement, this distribution agreement, together with the assignment of the trademark, were in breach of Article 101.1 and that they could not be justified under Article 101.3. And the case was brought to the European Court of Justice by Grundig and Constant um, in an appeal against the Commission's decision uh, in order to have the decision annulled. And that's the context of the case that we will be discussing in class. So thank you and see you in class.